Hi everyone, in today's video I'll be unboxing my first Twisby Eco. Um, this one is going to be in the cream and the rose gold and then the size is going to be a fine. So I have several other Twisbys. I'll show you the ones that I have so far. I keep them in this amazing pen roll from Rickshaw Bags. Um, I think this was a special collab with Goulet Pens. So I got this one from Goulet. It has the huge fountain pen with Mount Fuji and the cherry blossoms. So it's just beautiful. Also has this classic pattern on the inside with some ink bottles and fountain pens kind of hidden into the motif. So in here, I have the four original Twisbees that I've ever owned. So this one is the Twisby Mini. As you can see, she has been used up. Um, Diamond Mini. Then I think this was my next one. She's pretty hefty. This is the Iris, the um, VAC 700R. That one's used up and cleaned. I need to clean these two. This one is the Rose Gold White Mini. And again, this one needs to be cleaned out of wet as well. I finished using her up this past year. And then this is the only one that still has some. The reason why this one has some is I mainly use this one for titles or main points in my notes because it's a stub nib. But I've seen some others actually writing out their notes or letters with a stub nib. So I might give that a try to at least try to use up the ink more. I've probably had this ink in here for about a year now. Um, and it's blue, so I'm sure it's <laughs> it's probably stained. I'll be using blue in here forever. We'll see. All right. <clears throat> so today I love this Robert Oster Cafe Crema. So I thought I would use this. I would, I've been wanting to use a brown fountain pen ink and I thought that this pen would be perfect for that. So the Eco um, just comes in a plastic case, a little bit easier to get into than their other pen lines that I have. Okay, so I just take a sharp edge and I slit both of those stickers. If you have thinner nails, you may be able to just peel them off. And then this case opens. It does come with the same convenient tool accessories that the other Twisbees come with as well. Instead of a metal tool, it's a larger plastic tool and it comes with the silicone grease. Now it does give us a warning not to use alcohol. It will do something to the finish on these pens. Um, my guess is especially uh, the bands and things like that. So, oh. This is so pretty. I am looking forward to using this one. All right, so let's do some of our basics first of all. When it has its lid on, it's measuring five and a half inches. And if you used it posted, which you can, it posts quite well. Um, that is going to be a long one. It will be a little over six and a half inches. Now for me, I prefer to use this pen not posted. And so for that, it's about five inches, a little over five inches. Look how beautiful this nib is. So this is the fine nib. I'll show you some close-ups of it and then here's on the band you can see Twisby the top and then the pen clip really beautiful so without any ink in it it is at 0.6 ounces so much lighter than the metal pens say um, the aluminum or the brass brass is usually well over, at least the brass ones I have are well over an ounce to ounce and a half, depending on the manufacturer. But these plastic ones are usually around um, half an ounce, which is super, super light and easy to work with. All right, let's go ahead and fill this pen. 
So again, I'm going to be using the Robert Oster in Cafe Crema. I got this one. This is a two ounce um, sample from Goulet Pens. I always like trying out their samples. Um, there's so many fountain pen inks out there. I prefer the samples over the bottles because it just allows me to try a lot of different inks. So first I'm going to take the piston and move it up and down a couple of times first. There we go. So it may take you a couple times to feed it. You kind of have to get this when you're dealing with ink samples may have to mess with it a few times, push it in and out in order for it to really suck up that ink for you. But you can see I got a pretty good fill on this. So let me go wipe this off real quick and I'll be right back. I know that probably looked really scary, but it was actually a really good fill. So all I had to do was wipe off that little part of the nib. Um, none of the body or anything ended up with ink on it. It's completely clean. So probably one of the cleanest fills I've done in a long time. But I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit just a little bit and then we'll do a sample. I thought I'd show really quickly how I store these extra supplies for my pens. So my cleaning tools, the syringes and the dropper tools and things like that, I have in these little iris boxes. So it comes in like a case that fits, I don't know, 12 to 16 of these and all of my extra, you know, those free cartridges that come with all the pens. Here's a Con 70 converter in silver. I also have one in gold. Um, and then here's a Con 40 and Pilot converter. So I save my extra converters in another box and ink cartridges. And then anything for cleaning, I'm sorry, anything for maintenance is in here. So I have my silicone, um, I have the metal tool from Twisby, I have some extra things as far as to convert a, a vial into an ink, an ink type of tool. And then here's all of the little extra silicone grease that I have from Twisby. So I just throw them in here as I unbox different pens and I haven't really had to use them that much. So this is where they all are. So I'll add my first, since this is my first Eco, I'll add it where these plastic ones are. I'm imagining they're the same size, but I don't know, I kind of like this plastic one better. I feel like it has a larger handle on it. So, all right, those are stored. Apparently I forgot to hit record while I was writing out this sample, but this particular pen is with the fine nib and it is not scratchy at all. It is a perfect everyday writer. I've already been able to write a few hours with this pen and it has a ton of ink still and it just writes super smooth. It's very nice and slick. I absolutely love it. And the gold finish just makes it feel like fall and fall colors all over. It reminded me of our trip to New York and walking the High Line between the New Yorker Hotel to Chelsea Market. The High Line is an old railroad track that's been converted into a walking path over the streets of New York. And so you can take this all the way down to Chelsea Market and also where the Starbucks Reserve is in New York City and it is just beautiful. So we were there during the fall and the fall colors, and it just has some stunning views of the streets there. These are my beautiful girls that I went with, and we just had an awesome trip. So if you love Twisby as much as I do, please give this video a thumbs up, comment below, tell me about your experiences with Twisby. I'll see you on the next one.